Hi guys, me again with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an updated gun. This is the PDW-57 Master Edition Mark II from the game Black Ops 2. This is a futuristic version of the FN P90, and that is implicated by the 57 in the actual title, implying that it takes the 5.7 by 28 cartridge, and it obviously has this flat magazine that looks pretty much just like the FN P90s. This rendered image is going to look different from the actual version inside of LDD. I was going for a camouflage from the game using Studio's wide variety of colors. Excuse me. Sorry if you hear the air conditioner. So originally... Uh, this base coat right here was a black with silver speckle, and the goal was to go for a uh, nice and wonderful, simple carbon fiber camouflage. Unfortunately, that did not pan out the way that I thought, so inside of LDD, I switched it back to just the standard colors so that we get the, the good idea going instead of the bad one and this this idea was there but it just didn't pan out the way that i wanted it to so that's unfortunate this is the actual pdw 57 from black ops 2 i made a lot of changes from my old version to the new version and most of them revolve simply around the actual stock itself being here now uh Originally, I didn't like the idea of a really big, bulky stock uh, on the end of the gun. But when I, I've i gotten older, I've gotten a new eye for aesthetic. This, this stock looks pretty good, to be completely honest. So, I've now gone back to that style of stock. This is held on using a just a really rudimentary uh, system, as you can see here. And a really long Technic axle. Uh, this, this one right here. These are 32 long. They, these things are huge. Let me try to get that again. They're huge. There's one on this side, and there's one on this side. It's pretty much identical, as you can see. And they both come back and lock into place on the stock here and here, which then builds up everything else in the stock itself, which has this really, really wide butt plate going on back here. Nice and simple. There is no locking mechanism on the stock itself. It just kind of sits here. So for now, it's just here. Really. That's one of the first changes. Obviously, that included changing up all of this area back here to make this look as it should. The second change is that the sling mount, which is what I'm assuming this is, has also been added back into the gun. So as you can see, it looks really, really good. Really happy with that. Uh, magazine release has stayed the same. You just pull back on this, it releases uh, the little knob thing right here, which releases your magazine. Magazine slides on out, and you can reload as needed. Uh, our rail system has gone from two studs to three as appropriate, and the sights, uh, this is this is the one that did it. When I loaded this model, there was a lipstick piece here that did not get placed here. Sights have been replaced to more accurate sights, as you can see here. Obviously, the lipstick piece is supposed to be here, so it's not now, which sucks, but it is supposed to be there. Shell ejection port has been added. This model does, in fact, have a shell ejection port. I originally thought that it didn't, but uh, in some of the newer pictures that have been released, there is one actually right here. So I have added that where the bolt is at, as you can see. Uh, the bolt itself on my original model doesn't actually have this type of bolts in the back where it actually picks up a cartridge or anything. It just It's just this little sled thing with the charging handle. So I've now fixed that so it does now in fact have a bolt. As you can see, it runs back using an operating rod to the back here. Boom, boom, boom. Done. I've retained the folding charging handle. Of course, I've got a touch the right part to do this, which sucks. Thank you, finally. So it does fold, which is really, really cool, because it's a super awesome feeling when it uh, works exactly like you want it to. 
three stood wide rail here and a three stood wide rail here this one is longer than the sides and that's pretty much all the changes for the upper receiver for the lower receiver uh just a couple different changes here i changed slightly how our um safe fire selector works so this is one of those guns that's really complicated and how it works this is the fire selector so this side is either semi or full auto and then the other side is the opposite of that semi or full auto. so if this side is semi this side is full you just flip it back and forth between the two i've come through and i've used uh, a archway piece here so that you can basically close the gap as much as you want through that I switched this up to a brick built trigger as you can see here pretty simple and then this is the actual safety uh, not fire selector so basically I don't think I could flip it oh I am is the other side working now okay so I'm not grabbing the actual uh, pin piece that I should be grabbing. Basically, uh, this works on, right now, it's on uh, fire. And then you can flip this all the way around to safe. So fire, safe, fire, safe. And then this, of course, down here does the single auto, full auto. So it's kind of kind of weird like that. But that's how this is supposed to work if you look at the images that have come out. Uh, this whole receiver had to be dropped down a couple of plates to accommodate for that, but that was pretty simple. I've used bow slopes nowadays uh, to just kind of come through and smooth this out so it looks a lot nicer. Pretty simple. And the biggest thing, technically, would be the addition of this bolt catch. So this is a really, really simple mechanism. It slides all the way across here, as you can see, all the way back to this piece right here. And how this works is that when you pull the bolt back, uh, this piece on the actual bolt itself is going to come forward. You can see right here. And once it passes by here and it gets to the right here, you can pull out on your bolt catch. And this piece right here is going to come forward and block the path of this piece here. So now all you got to do is push in on this bolt catch and poof. You've got a really, really nice design for a bolt catch now. So, really happy with that. I think it's pretty awesome that we actually have a bolt catch on the model now, and it's in a pretty um, reasonable spot, actually, because if you get your front hand on this grip, your thumb's, like, right here. It's really awesome. I think it's fantastic. And it is something that is shown in uh, the reload animation of the fast mags, I believe. You, like, drop the magazine, and you put a new one in, and you just kind of put your thumb over here somewhere, and... So I eventually found out that that was the bolt catch. -off. That is the PDW57 from Black Ops 2 Master Edition Mark Number 2. This is the third PDW57 I've made. I thought the other one that I made was going to be my last one, but I did like the uh, going back to the old style of stock, and I was inspired to do a couple of new working features as well. So that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. I will see you guys later in another YouTube video some other time. Thanks for watching.